Welcome to today's video. Today I will have a look at Banyu, Flat Earth Banyu. Another thing, uh, five weeks ago I challenged uh, Brian Slodik to navigate from UK to Ireland. I will link that video in the description. I know that uh, Brian have looked at the video. I have asked him in his comment section about which date is suitable for him. And he refused to reply to me. Uh, the only reply I did get when I asked which day will I use, uh, do you want me to book the ferry ticket from Dublin to UK? He replied, send me the money instead. So, so he have no interest in trying to navigate in real life from UK to Ireland. He's a coward. So let's start this dumpster fire and have a look at Flat Earth Banyu and his stupidity about the stars. And first thing I'm gonna say, like just yesterday, I was listening, a shout out to Flat Earth Geographer on TikTok. He had that guy Globy in my face yesterday or Friday, I don't know. And Globers, they are so dishonest. You know, the guy, like two days ago, he was still saying that person in South America, another one in Sydney, and another one in Africa can see the Southern Cross at the same time. Now, I live in Japan. Right now is 10, 15. My, there is a longitude line here, 135 East, the same one that crosses Japan crosses Australia. So I know that in Australia right now, it's about, let's say 11 a.m. Okay, depending on, they have like three time zones. Uh, first of all, they have five time zones. And of course you can see the Southern Cross in all those three locations, depending on which time of the year it is. Is it in the end of June? It's possible. So who is dishonest? 11 a.m. or noon, between 10 and noon. I know they are not seeing the Southern Cross. But at the same time, uh, my parents live in Brazil and I know the time there. It's 10, 15 at night, 10, 15 p.m. So I know they are seeing the Southern Cross right now, but not Australia, not New Zealand, okay? Not even Africa, right? And so you see the dishonest of the people. So dishonest, so it's... Uh, in this debate with who oh, it was, was it McToon? I didn't understand who it was, but did he state today? Or did he talk about that it's possible sometimes per year? Hmm. I don't think that's why I don't like to go to see those debates because normally you're debating something, someone who is a liar and he's a dishonest person and he's only there to steer you away from the truth. That's, that's what the thing is. So I'm going to say this again. The only time you can see the Southern Cross in three continents, in three places at the same time is on June 22nd, 2022. Sometimes, you know, a couple of days. One person has to be Eastern most part of Brazil, Salvador or Recife looking southeast. The person in Africa can be looking south anywhere. And the person in Australia has to be in the westernmost part of Australia in Perth. That's the only time the three people can see the Southern Cross. 
And that's why, because the Southern Cross is right above Africa. So first of all, who is dishonest? And now he admits that it's possible in the end of June. And this nonsense about the location of the Southern Cross over Africa? I'm not sure about that one. I, I will return to that part. You know, so that's the only time uh, that all three places can see and you have to be in this location. That's the only time. Okay, so they will not stop lying. They always bring this up, uh, you know. So you guys know what a planet sphere is. Okay, so this one here is the flat Earth planet sphere. This is the whole flat Earth whole flat earth right here. Uh, <clears throat> you don't see the problem with it. In the northern hemisphere, the stars rotate in what direction? And in the southern part of the globe? Hmm. So you see Polaris right here in the middle. And this is the planet sphere rotating above the flat Earth. Okay, that's how it is. Now the globe, they divided this into two parts. This one. North Pole, right here in the middle, the Northern Hemisphere. And the South, this is the equator that's below. So you see the Southern Cross right here. Now this is the globe projection. Not mine, I will make, I just searched for planet sphere on the globe and I got this all right so it's obvious that he don't know anything about the subject and he don't see the problem with his so-called explanation uh, this is the southern cross I'm gonna overlay this on top of the three continents right here. They are facing south, right? So right here, as the south stars rotate, it's above South America. So now it's over South America. Before it was over South Africa. But I believe he will give an explanation for that. So they cannot be all looking south and look at this. This guy has to be looking south, uh, southwest. Yeah, southwest. This cannot see at all because it's daytime right here. Same thing here. And we can see in Brazil, it's nighttime in Brazil, but it's daytime over here. So another rotation. Right now, it's above Australia, okay? So someone in Africa, if you look southeast, can see it. But in South America, it's daytime, they cannot see it. Okay, but look right here. You can see in Australia, okay? You can see in Australia, these parts here, they cannot see, it. it's daytime. Okay, so who is dishonest? Before you showed that this it, it's possible in the end of June, and now it's not possible. Oh dear. So this idea that they can all see at the same time, when it's in Africa, it happens we can see if you are in Perth, and you are here in the easternmost part of Brazil, then you can see, okay, because it's right here. So you gotta be in this region here of Brazil. You gotta be here, all right, in certain day in June and Ju June to be able to see it. And the Southern Cross rises from the southeast and sets in the southwest. This is in Brazil when you look south, okay, this is how it is. So, you know, 
There exist several HRAs from Brazilian astronomy websites. The Southern Cross, Southern Cross right here, the crux. Impossible what they claim, right? Southeast to Southwest. Southeast to Southwest. Okay, Southeast all the way to Southwest. Southeast to Southwest. That's how it is right here. This one explains everything right here. All right, so it's possible they can, they keep up with these lies. Oh, they can now say they can't. You know, they don't understand time zones. You know, it's not night. Unless they claim they on the ball earth, the top is illuminated and all the bottom is in the dark. And no one claims that. <laughs> The problem here is uh, the Southern Cross is not the same as the Pole Star because uh, it's not so close to the South Pole. The closest star in the Southern Hemisphere to the Polaris is Sigma Octantis, but is not it's hard to see with your bare eyes so when they are started to use stars and so on for navigation the southern cross was the closest one to something similar to the polar star it was bright the stars in that constellation was bright enough to use in navigation therefore the southern cross is moving a lot because it's not in the center as Sigma Octantis is quite close to the southern uh, or the south pole. So this is so stupid and so much nonsense. He can't agree with himself if it's possible or not to see the Southern Cross in South America, South Africa and Australia at the same time. In the end of June it is and this nonsense about in which direction you have to look. If you look at Sigma Octantis with a telescope in those three location at the same time in the end of June all of them will look almost perfectly straight south that's a fact oh they are so stupid oh thank you everybody helping me helping Ukraine as you know they are struggling in Ukraine so it's urgent to send them, for instance, drones. Uh, after Easter, I will go back to Ukraine with more parts to make kamikaze drones. If you want to help, I would be so happy. If you want, p use PayPal. It's the quickest way for me to get the money and so I can transform it to parts for kamikaze drones. I hope you liked this video. I will be back. Uh, in a couple of days before I leave so see you soon <laughs>